Hello, hello, Gliss fam. Happy Friday and happy St. Patrick Day. This is me, Nancy. Welcome back to Glitz Live tutorial. I am so excited to be back with you. And today, our content and tutorial is going to be uh, Friday Fusioning. So I'm so excited. In front of me, there are a few colors I select. And also, keep in mind, you can use any color of a Glitz Fusioning Collection. There's 18 different colors. And then, also, you can do it on a different background. So it's happened today that I am going to do some of cute designs on the top of the colors that we have it on the so, box this month. But you can see it's a lot of other videos that I did on the white backgrounds, on the nude background, on the lights background. So feel free to, you know, like have fun with that, the designs with all of different uh, glitz fusioning. So I have this is cute too. Two cap designs is really cool and stunning because I'm playing on the top of cap uh, like a light green, this green on the palettes that we have on this the April sub box, and also the nude color. So, but you know that you can do it on on top of any background colors. Okay, it doesn't have to be this four colors. I'm just gonna show you the techniques and the concept, and you can apply to pretty much every single colors you have it on your desk or your station. So two colors i have it here left from this collection i did playing with this i believe it this two already so then we're gonna do this two left and then we'll see how it's gonna turn out so i'm gonna show you one i'm gonna do with a uh, some of the background foil and stuff and then one i'm gonna leave it just completely plain so they can see a variety of different uh, looks for the fusioning so when i apply probably foil on this one and maybe one this one. I don't know. Maybe one this one. No, one this one. Okay. And because we have the foil and the nude already. So I want to show you the nudes without foil. So premium I hold chan for foil. This is going to be your bestie if you are love the chan for foil image and you are want, you know, you're going to achieve a pretty much 99% of the foil chanfer. This is going to be your bestie premium IO chan for four key in 30 seconds. Not only save you time, but it's definitely really effective. I'm going to apply this on and tie the nails because we're going to patch it on a different spot of the nails. So you want to make sure that you apply and tie the nail. So then just in case you want in different spot, you won't uh, miss it at all. 30 seconds. And I got a couple of the pieces of foil from this foil box and has all different the um the holos colors and i just happened i grabbed the silvers and the gold there's different pattern of the foil the the gold foil and the silver so you will never get you know like you know our run out of ideas at all so i just cut randomly it doesn't matter you can pick anything that you want so just pat it randomly I'm gonna just pat this one as well. Just get a little bit of go here and there. But also you can do less or more, it's up to you. I'm just gonna really having fun with this. All right, so you're happy with this? You can add more, it doesn't matter. You can do even like whole nails, it doesn't matter at all. So for fusioning, there's two cute elements are the main essential that you are going to need is you don't need anything else but just just two so i'm going to go ahead and apply the matte top coat right on the top this matte top coat is not only to help seals all of the designs that are underneath just in case you are trying for foil or you put stickers or whatever you want in it and then you want to foil on the top you want to make sure you are going to cap it seal it first so then it will not dissolving or is going to affecting your foil um, underneath while you're doing your fusioning. So here for 60 seconds, it looks really good by itself like this. And what color should we do? We should we do, you know, don't afraid of to playing around with this. Maybe a white color, you think? Mm -hmm. White, yellow, I don't know. Because it's such a really good strong background, it doesn't mean that you can't do a fusioning. There are two colors you can do with 
any strong, any like a dogger background will just pull your weight and then obsidian. Either one of them are work with any. So also you can use a different background. You can use like pure white backgrounds, milky white backgrounds. You can use any backgrounds. Just having fun with this and don't afraid of to playing it and to uh, check it out. You know what? It looks really dark under the camera here, but if I hold it closer to the light, you might see it. Here's Instagram and on Facebook and YouTube. It looks really good. It looks really good in person because I noticed that. Oh, purple. Hi, Robin. Thanks so much for tuning in. Yes, the purple, it is the majestic. majestic. Oh my god, look at this one. It looks so cool though. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try and see fully white. Majestic is the purple. I believe majestics have both in the traditional colors and also in neon as well, Robin. And I'm gonna add some poly white on and see what's up with this one. Show you quick this one. And I'm gonna share the video later. It's really easy for you to create those some cute design. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake the poly white really well and edit it on. And I'm gonna probably add another colors on. What do you think is a pink one? It looks good. Oh, this one looks cool though. Even there's a little bit of the white, you know? You know what, this one, I really liked it. Maybe we should put the the crystal on it. Okay. I like that. I like it. Looks cool. And do more than one because this is really nice. It's like have a white white and it give it a cool the effects. I like that. You want your white to be really more like more pigments on it, adds more than one. If it looks good already before I do anything else. And I let it air dry and we are going to using the crystal clear. Yeah, like just without even without crystal clear, that looked like some fancy marble. Uh, it looks cool, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like we want to make it like more defined on the hey, like Paul, so this is our fusion ink so it is an ink this, this is not gel all right and only you need is as i said earlier this only you need is the matte top coat and then crystal clear only to the essential that you need to a perfect and take your marble designs using a fusioning to the next level. And then, you know, you don't have to worry about it's gonna be right way or wrong way because when you're working with your fusioning, there are like a limit less of what um, you can create. So right now I'm just like create some veinings right here. You can start seeing it's already cute, but then you see obviously it's on the veining. So I have draw a lot of pigment into one veining here and create some of the uh, details. I have like the backgrounds of some foil underneath as well. It is give me some of the um, the looks already created. It's really cool. I like the soft looks for the clients who love the soft look. It doesn't look too much. You can see that how the pigments, I can pull them together. Really a light when you're seeing it, but for the clients love the soft look. So it is simple. So right after the uh, white fusion ink, we're using the crystal clear fusion ink. This will help you spread out and create that marble look. Mm, it looks really good though. You can continue doing more. Mm -hmm. Look at that. How does that go in? And then wherever you want your uh, part to be more clear and clarified, you're going to just walk around your 
on that area with your tip of your bristles and guide them like this one. I want to create the veinings right here. I'm going to just move the pigment of the fusioning toward to the center and then kind of guide it. You can kind of see really soft look. I really like it though. I don't think I ever have the successful one how I'm doing it this look like this. Yeah, it's, now it's actually look like a river. It looks like a... And all your gold, I don't know, it's river and like a river. So right, all your gold and all your foil is like a stone and cobble in a river, and all your vein is like water going through and kind of get split around. And then, so now, if you if you are want, even if you want your white to be a little bit wider, you can. So like, I mean, obviously, I really like it like this because I think this is it's really rare time that I create this, but because every time that i did a different background but this has happened that we did this background from the newest sub box so that is so exciting that to find out this color is so perfect for this fusioning also and i'm going to use it just a little bit hint of the gold from the uh illuminating light art i just want to get just a little bit along leave it alone like that just like that and then you're happy with this? We all go ahead and cure. I'm gonna just add just a little bit in here. And now, as this step, you can definitely leave it alone and cure for 60 seconds. Top coat it, either shiny top coat or the matte top coat, and then you're good to go. But if you want to add some crystal on, this is gonna be a good one after we cure. And the second one, we're gonna do sticker, but this one, we're gonna do some crystal placement on this. So then we have one nails with the cute crystal. Which one should we go? Doesn't matter whatever one, it looks cute on that. Mm -hmm. Maybe on that one. Which one do you think? It looks, everything It looks cute on that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and using Crystal Trifecta. If you love Crystal Design so much and your crystal is, looks great on the social media, on the pictures, on the videos, and then the clients will like, bing, bing. Like my crystal, it just keep popping off. This is going to be your bestie. This is gonna back you up every single time and keep all your crystal, your client's crystal on the nails for weeks to come, three to four weeks plus. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and this is, I got this design from, you can able to get some of this. It's a lot of this designs to out your is glow in the crystal kit. This is my favorite kit. Also, I found some of this really cute one is on the uh, sub box that I got recently, this April sub box with a lot of cute mix bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the condensed glue gels and floating, you know what, top coat right on the top. So we can do a cute, simple crystal before we're moving on the next fusioning. I'm so now, as I always say, you can stop right here and top coat it and you're good to go. However, if you have a client that like, love crystal designs and want it on the top of anything like fusioning, chamfer foil, stickers, um, you name it, or like on the top of the cat eyes, you can definitely uh, edit it on and fulfill their request. So I am go ahead and apply it on tie the nails. It just looks really cute by itself though. I really want to and you can leave it. I can do another one, duplicate it and leave it alone because they're so beautiful. It's like um, have the water. Do you think you know, like have a like a river, river, something so cool though. But I want to add just a little bit of crystal for you. Do you have any preference? What design? What number? We'll call it one, two, three, four, five, six. Which one do you want? One in the meantime, I'm gonna put the top coat. If no one's pick anything. Well, we um, gotta vote for the middle one. The middle one? This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, three. So number three. Here you go. Floating right on the top. So now you can have an option. You can put it right in the middle of the nails. You can put closer to toward to the cuticles on the design. Okay. In the middle one all right so 
here's at how I achieve a lot of different crystal placement. Um, I always start from a centerpiece first because if your centerpiece would give me a kind of a visual, a big general pictures of what I am going to create. So if you are going to do the crystal right in the middle, the crystal placement right in the middle of the nails, I'm gonna pick this as a centerpiece first. I'm gonna start from the centerpieces. Like if you have more than one, which is this one, this one had two, this one had three. So start from the centerpieces first, and then you start working around with your main centerpiece. Like basically you have a spy on first, and then you have the guidance in the middle, and you can walk around with this. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. This one, why is picking whole entire crystal together? And a little frame cute from the mixed bag also is from yours, super adorable is glow in the docks crystal kits i'm telling you that kit you will never go wrong with this so i'm gonna go ahead and pick more crystal and in a, some of the video you see that i didn't even like get the match mix match or different sizes i'm doing it really randomly different color and i love about it because it's such like a variety of a different color so you can see that i am wrapping the centerpiece around with all the ss and make sure that all of them are really close and tight together and you see i finish the look with either is end of the arrow metals pieces or you can do with the bead so now if you're happy with this you can just leave it like this and here but if you want to add some beads on here you can add the beads add it right in between your crystals like just like Mika say it was like the same adding on the joys of the crystal I'm gonna add it right here and I make sure using the other end of your your uh, crystal pickers and adjusting it as you need same with this one look like this one had two it's okay i can do this i can do three on this one instead of taking it away i'm gonna add more so it has more friends to play with Continue. To ask the beats on the rest of them. As I say, you stop at any point, okay? You can stop at no beats or add the beats on. You just add the beats to make it look cute like a jew piece of jewelry when you are having it like kind of... Um, on the mountain, one piece. I'll pick a smaller, like tiny little one, smaller right here. And what about this? I keep adding it on. You can stop at any point. As I say, just, you can add it more. We'll finish there. And we'll put something right there. How's that look under the camera? Looks good. All right, I'm gonna check. The best thing about Crystal Trifecta is you have full control of you know what you are going to do if you feel like you need to adjusting and to see if you need to like adjusting all the beads and crystal and frame before you are going to cure do so because it's not dry it's not set until you are going to cure it so it's just such a really good benefit all right so you can add more or remove it however you want cure 60 seconds for this and then we're going to do the precision glue gels right after this before we move into the next design I don't know, this looks cool though. This one, I stop it here, just the stickers, ED, PC. So we'll move this one. I'm going to do in a different um, designs. And the next one, we're going to do this. 
and then this one we are going to apply just the uh, matte top coat first when i'm waiting for the other one to be drying so i can put the precision glue on it but this one i'm not putting like no foil or any of the go foil or silver foil i'm just doing a matte top coat so then i can start doing this one i want to do this green for today saint patty that's what you guys want to see and anyone want to see other colors let me know so this beauty is almost done one more step before we are going to move on the next one i love it you can clean this one off because the residues and this is definitely the magic wand it will back you up every single time so it's not only seals and protect all of the metal from getting tarnished but also is help prevent from catching on the hair and the clothes so you can see that i doing a little bit of the quick check and when i run through every single edges of the crystal and charms and beads i don't squeeze nothing out yet until you start you know run through it and you're like right here if you're scratchy right here i'm gonna squeeze just a little bit in like just a little you can see that's just little go a long way you don't need a whole lot to really seal it because it's gonna is when we squeeze it and seal right in the gap it will blending in and it fill in any a gap that it been missing so it is even give it like a triple secure for your crystal placement so I'm going to go and tie the nails uh, around and tie the crystals and only on the base because you know that you have, this is a third, you know, secure, which is you have a first one, it condensed glue gel, second is your no wipe top gold, and the third one to double, triple secure it. So I'm going to seal all of the beads and the frame right here, leave the crystal alone because you already sealed them really well. I'm sealing around because you don't want to seal on the top of it. It's going to destroy the beauty of it, the shiny and the cut and the sparkle. So I'm going to go ahead and close my tinted brush. I think it's just for all the nail techs who love crystal designs and really in the nail art should have one of the, your tinted brush. It's going to be your bestie all the time. All right. Because it's go. So what I did it earlier, I just go out lies and like give it a quick swipe to blend it the excess precision glue gel. So then when right now, if after I place it under the LED light for 60 seconds, it will give it really nice look, clean looks and it's flawless without having lumpy bumpy. So that's nails in the lamp for 60 seconds and it's gonna be dry. And moving on, this is one. I'm so excited. So what is, should we use a green and yellow? No, green or just green only. Yeah. This what is this too? Thinking green, and it's gonna do it in the traditional fusioning like collection and then the neon. Let's see what's up with this one. All right, add some green. It's gonna be so cool. And when you added it on your nails or the client's nail, you can do however. You can dab it sore, straight, angle, however you want. There's no right way and a wrong way to doing it, okay? Um, because later when you are controlling it and you are going to guide your designs, you can use your crystal clear to control pretty much of everything. You can change your your um pigment that you just apply it on from a sore to straight from a straight to sore however you want so you can add more than just one i did add two so i'm gonna add the the um i have two layer of the thinking green on the traditionals like classics colors and i'm gonna add some of thinking green in the neon and see how is that gonna turn out This one looks good if a background too, but I want to do one with or without background. You can do background like I did it earlier. 
All right. You want more? Just add some more, but I'm going to stop right there. And we're going to need infusioning. We're talking about this three bestie, uh, this two bestie, whatever fusioning colors, you don't have to get 18 different colors. Playing, checking out one color at a time, you like it. But this is two going to be bestie. We'll take your marble designs, which is using a glitz fusioning to the next level, which is this two matte taco to help you grab all the pigment and it keep it stimulated. It's right there. And then this crystal clear will blending out nicely without, it's really smooth blending. So it's without any staining left behind. So you can move your veining, your pigment to however you want your veining to be. So if you had one colors, great. You just need this Bessie that you do all the works for you. So you can work smarter, not harder. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and have one piece of my uh, clean paper towers right bill uh, underneath of my crystal clear because I am going to uh, clean and then kind of adapt this bristle, this brush off all the pigment before I am going to place it back into the bottle and get some more crystal clear. And next time you need just a little bit, little go a long way. Okay. You can see that I can move. So whatever you want to move your veining, work it from the outside and blend it to the inside. Create it really sharp and precise veining. You can go your veinings thin as you want or thick as you prefer. Like I can do part of it like thin. I'm loving it. Like playing and create a fusioning is isn't that hard like you would thought as long as you just do me a favor when you are going to pick your a crystal clear make sure your bristle clean and much possible off from the pigment so therefore your crystal clear is stay remaining crystal clear without have too much of your pigment in there because it's otherwise it's gonna kind of having a bleeding um looks on your marbling when you create because the bristle carry too many pigment in the crystal clear bottle so a lot of questions ask like why are you doing it it doesn't look like yours and my veining it looks so uh blur it's just it's not precise just don't use a lot of crystal clear just pick a little bit it just like make your uh, bristle a little bit damn wet but it's not saturated with this because when you pick so many of the crystal clear, it will properly kind of bleeding all of your pigment you have on the nails. So you see that I move and then you play with this a couple of times, one or two times, I promise you would get hang of it really fast with the glitz fusioning. It's one of the things is the easiest on earth is uh, basically is a glitz fusioning. It will never get you wrong at all. It doesn't matter. It's just as long as you get it, just again, I will show you really a little bit you can see that you don't really seeing it is like soaking wet the bristle which is really soft and a little bit a little go a long way and you can go your veining to be really precise really thin or as big as you prefer so if you're happy with this leave this one alone like this and let it quick air dry then we're going to add some of Last video I show you, we can use a golden touch. Today we're having fun a little bit with the um, light art gel painting. This is like a glow in, ah, glow, glow, no, not glow. It's like, yeah, it's glow in the flashlight. How are you saying it? I don't know. It's, like, it's, it's just really shiny. It's just beautiful. You can do both of them together if you want to, but we are doing this one today. Super, super sparkle. Because I did for the last few videos, we did the um, golden touch. So today I want to show you this and see how it's going to turn out. And just like make it zigzag randomly and then add it wherever you want. I usually go along with the lie of the marbles, like veining. Sometimes I drop 
the big blob of it on it however you would like okay a little bit right there Okay. Oh, happy with this? We're gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds and you can add more, it doesn't matter. Now let me give a little bit of more of, more character in there. Trust me, you will never go wrong with this. There you go. I love this. This is like really cool. You can do it's like anything with this lining. Looks cool. Here, 60 seconds. That's a different colors. I have this color, right? There's a pink, the green. Is that a blue? I think it's a blue. Yellow. Ah, silver. I mean, go. Oh. But you see me do a lot with the gel painting golden touch. And it's totally different. It was the two colors. This is more solid colors and like really shimmery. And the other one is like a glitter, like the particle a little bit bigger. So that's why I give it a lot of reflection of it. And on this sticker nails, we are gonna using a super adorable that sticker that I got for my set box. And we'll pick a couple of them on it because the first one we did the crystal already. Oh, this one is done. I'm not going to wipe it off the residue for you so you can see how beautiful it is. Like really cool, like a fusioning underneath. I like it a lot. And then the second one, we're going to add some stickers on. I'm not sure what stickers we're going to add it on. And I think the background, it looks good with anything. Like this one looks good, you think? It looks like a rainbow butterfly. Mm -hmm. That definitely looks nice. You can put her right here on the connection of your veining, or you can put her right here, however you want. Do what you like. Add her in here. You can add her in the middle. You can add her wherever she want to. And I have like a little of side view butterfly. You can also add her here. Like she chilling down here and happy and then maybe this one not thinking that i didn't realize that it's a cute flower down here you can also have the flowers too if you want to this is my bestie sticker bestie is peels off every single stickers nicely gently without ripping them off and then it have the other ends that i can really like give a good pressures on it so now you can add some more um i almost like you see this one should i add some flowers on? cute flower let me see Actually, nice. Is the green almost matching? You don't have to. You don't have to. I was thinking. Maybe you should. I'll leave it like this. Uh -huh. See? So this is really cool. You can definitely pick it and put it back in. You don't want it. Good choice. Nothing on it. You can put some crystal on it. You can put some crystal right here if you want to. You can stop at any point. As I said, you can stop it even before you put line, liners, uh, veining on. We can stop it after you put the veining on. No, gl no glitter, no, I mean, uh, no stickers, no crystal, leave it alone. You can stop at any point if you prefer, as your clients prefer. And then now I'm happy with this. We're gonna top coat it and cure for 60 seconds. As I said, you with, when you see a lot of videos I do, I just want to show you a possibility of what you can able to do because you'll be amazing. I do have a clients that have a lot of beautiful going on in the nails and they love it. Like a lot of people like, oh my God, I can't never wear it. It's too busy. It's just everybody different. 
You will have the clients will be really plain, beautiful, solid tone color. You will have the clients love the gorgeous of so many different like beautiful art. Just the same with the makeup, you know. Some people just love love simple makeup. Some people love dramatics. Everybody have a different taste. Same thing when we go into the restaurant, everybody have a different taste. That's why in the restaurant have a different menu for us, you know, like different entree, different dessert, different appetizer, key for 60 seconds. So don't ever underestimate your beautiful as talents and skills because you'll be amazing and say, oh, my clients will never do that. Are you sure? If you put some swatching on this and you put the displays on your display, the first time they might really stay at it and it's kind of tempting. Second time, they're going to ask you some question. And a third time, I'm sure, I am promise, like they're going to like, oh my God, can you do something like this? It looks so beautiful. You see what I mean? So it's it's kind of give them, inspire, inspire them for some idea that they think they can do something different and it's not hurt to doing it. It's just the nails and it's beautiful, fun art. And if you don't like it, you don't have to do it again, but you love it. There's a variety of things that you can express through your nails, you know? Is that already? Look at this. Okay, I'm going to find a key. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we can show you some of the neon too. Oh, you want to see show the neon? Let me see. Yep, the glow in the dark light. Uh -huh. Ooh! This neon I'm talking about, this is a collection neon. Thank you, Hill. You just remind me because look at the neon that we have a neon. <gasps> look at my nails. Glue. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's why I see you want to show you. Cool. And I have the neons is um, this neon thinking green that I have on the nails that I just did. And then also the passionate i love this neon and i love that when even more when i incorporate with the original one it's really i would say it is enhance it the look but you don't have to you can do one colors and have to do all like neon and regular but it's just to show you that possibility you can create so much with your fusioning it's not only it's just like veining but it's had a whole entire picture on it and then guess what happened i think it was next live video is going to do this today that we did the simple fusionings um with little cute stickers and then we did fusioning with the background of the foil but next time i'll do the next uh come in with the fusioning we can do fusioning and then we're going to add is on the top of the layer we're going to add the is a uh, chamfer foils on it to give you a really cool looks of how you can look at chamfer foil on the top of it. Oh. So this is beautiful designs of fusioning like this. I would suggest when you're doing it, it start from a ten dollars to fifteen dollars. I know it's just a lot of you will like wonder like just like that is if it doesn't have a crazy a massive of a crystals on it. Or a lot of going on it doesn't mean that it can be two dollars five dollars because it was taking your techniques your skills and your time so um back in we, when we're doing a fusioning like this is fifteen dollars per nail so you can do it from ten dollars if the clients do one colors of a fusioning if they do a double color which is the regular traditional and a neon and then veining and a sticker so it's just really fair for you however this is for your reference only. You can able to apply it on. You can able to apply it on your business accordingly. If you're running special promotion, you can give it a little discount for your clients, or you can give them a special. It's free gift, as they are having a special, like special event, special anniversary, birthday. If the bread and butter client, or if the clients that you never seen it before, you're running promotions like you know, feeling early but special for some of the spot that you are having is arrival or you have a last minute cancellation you want to fill your books up you know it's like offer a couple of cute nail art design so then they can able to get an opportunity that's just kind of an excuse for them to see you in your talent and in person all right so this one at 15 and then this one at 15 And this one, 
can be really cool between 20 to 25. Because it's just a centerpiece alone, it sells only $10. However, you can do 20 to 25 is really, it's up to you, okay? Just for your reference, because there are going on is one layer at first, it will channel point underneath, and you have fusionings on the top, and then you have a crystal placement. So you have three techniques going on into this nails. And then your super cute centerpieces have beads, frame, and everything. So 20 to 25 is really fair, 25 for this one. But as this is just for your personal, for the uh, your preference only, and then you can adjusting accordingly to your business, okay? All right, so here is a look. I know this is cute. Okay, so here is anyone asking for the green? Is Mika, you asking for green for St. Patty Day today? I like it. I like them all like different. But you see that when you are doing your fusioning, there's no right way or wrong way. You It's always come out beautiful. Um, just, you know, uh, hopefully you take, you know, if you take one or two tip and trick out of today, it's really a cool, it's just recap. When you're doing a fusioning, just remember, like less is more so when you're doing you pick up your crystal clear just do a little bit of a crystal clear and make sure you get a piece of paper on it so when you have a crystal clear it's it's just damning up your your bristle you don't want to load it saturate your bristle too much with the crystal clear you're just wasting your crystal clear and then you're probably going to wipe off all flushing off all of your pigment you have it on so little is go a long way so that's when you're doing it, you can control pretty much every single color of a fusioning and you is created however you want the masterpieces of your nail art. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial today as much as I do. And I'm so excited and I'm so happy that you are tuning in. If you see this video is helpful and you know that someone you are care for, your friends or whoever or your nail tech, definitely feel free to share it to them they will be thanks to you so much that you can share all the cool techniques and hope you can pick one or two tips and tricks on each of the videos to take your business to the next level that is a win-win and thank you so much and if you have any questions regarding to the products or the tutorial feel free to dm um, across platform youtube TikTok, facebook twitch instagram uh, and then also if you have questions for the order or the shipping, feel free to email us at info at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com. Our team will be so happy to assist you doing a special sales even this month, a special huge sales throughout the month as our fifth anniversary. All the order will ship within one to five business day. You see, we're getting shipped out really good between one to three businesses day. So if you have questions, feel free. And oh, and please enjoy the free crystal trifecta when all the order of 199 or more um including the shipping discounts and tax so you don't have to add it on it's going to come with your order when you order it is qualify and also the fusioning collections is is also come in the fifth anniversary supreme treasure box with a huge special in there you literally have everything what Glitz has uh, to offer. So I'm so excited. And if you have questions for the fifth anniversary Supreme box, let us know. And the times is running out and you don't want to miss it out. It's great to start your career, your business. You pretty much have everything that you were thinking of without breaking your bank. And until in the next live videos i am so excited and hope you have a fabulous friday if you are working today have a fabulous friday and productive friday and if you are having a day off have a fabulous day off and i will definitely want to see everyone in the next live enjoy 20 percent off size white during a special anniversary month if you have question you couldn't locate it any product don't hear say CDM. Our team will be trying to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much, everyone, for another great live videos. And we're definitely going to see everyone in the next live. Thanks so much, Cindy, from YouTube for tuning in. Thanks so much, Instagram fam, for tuning in.
you know what? I think, I don't know. It's just every time I'm watching again from uh, watch replays from uh, Instagram, it looks really dark though. It must be probably the the video. So that's why, but it's look at in the person is so gorgeous. I will see you in the next live, everyone. Have a fabulous Friday. We'll see you in the next live. Bye.